with my favorite Fridays. And um, today what I want to share with you is my skincare line, what I use for my skin. And so first I'm going to show you what I wash my face with. And so every morning I've been washing my face with Alba Botanica. And I love this brand because ever since I've... Um, I started eating more plant-based and eliminating all animal products. I started paying attention to also products that don't um, have animal products in them and that don't have don't do harm to animals as well. And so this is vegan and um, no testing on animals and no animal ingredients, paraben free. And if you want to know when something is um, vegan, there's a little rabbit in the back. You can't see it right here, but there's like a little rabbit and it shows you that it's cruelty free. So I've been washing my face with this foaming um, cleanser by Alba Botanical and you can find this at any drugstore or your Target, Rain Wayne, CVS and twice a week I've been using their Alba because I like it so much the way it leaves my face clean and not feeling dry. Um, I use their clean, good and clean fruit acid detox fusion and this is a scrub. And so I do this twice a week. And then after I'm done and I dry my face, I spray rose water. Um, and this just refreshes my skin. It's kind of like a toner. And it's just basically just distilled water with um, rose water as well. And I just spray the spritz that on my face. And I also spritz this after I do my makeup just to give it a dewy, um, dewy, dewy feel. So I do this, and then after that, if it's during the daytime, I just use my homemade coconut oil butter that I made, and I did a video a couple of weeks ago about how I use coconut oil to make my skin, my lotions, and so it's basically just the coconut oil, organic coconut oil, and I blend it with a hand blender, and I put a little bit of drops of essence, and I put lavender. And this is what I put on my face as a moisturizer. Now at nighttime, I use Avon's Clinical Overnight Hydration Mask. This looks like this right here. And it's actually a mask, but you can also use this as a moisturizer because it, the typical mask you have to rinse off and this one you don't. And it's really cool because it has these little pebbles. And so I wake up and my face is totally hydrated, feeling nice and smooth. So this is what I use at nighttime. Now, for once a month, or if I'm if I'm lucky, twice a month, I do a mask, a clay mask. I picked this up when I was in New York. I found out about this when I was in New York. It's uh, it's called Aztec Secret, and it's a healing clay. And it comes in a powder form, and all you have to do is mix it in with either apple cider vinegar or water. And you make it into a paste, and then you just put it on your face. Forewarning, this is strong. This will pull any <laughs> waste that you have in your pores and totally clean it out. It just like really sucks everything out of your skin. So. If you have sensitive skin, you have to just be careful how long you keep it on. I kept it on um, more than 20 minutes last time, and I literally got these little indents on my chin where it literally pulled every impurity from my from my pores. And I always have a problem with my chin area. So you can find this. I got this at Dwayne Reed when I was in New York, but you can find this at any health food store. I'm pretty sure Whole Foods has it. And you could also, I'll put a link on Amazon.com because I know that Amazon carries it too. So this is called Aztec Secret. So that's once or twice a month. And as far as my makeup routine, I picked up this also vegan plant-based makeup and I use this, um, it's called Mineral Fusion. Mineral Fusion and this is a this is a concealer and so I use this top this color is called neutral and if you have my skin color it's like an olive orangey color this is good for your skin tone I use the white part the lighter part I use it for under my eyes and it just kind of gives you that open eye look I just use a brush and I put a little bit under my eyes as so 
and it really opens up and makes my eyes look pop and big. And then the bottom one is darker and I use that to just around my nose, around my mouth and some little um, freckles that I have around my, uh, my cheekbones. And that's pretty much it. And this is what I use to conceal any blemishes. Also, since it's made with minerals, if you put them on your ble blemishes, you don't have to worry about it getting, getting, it. getting it more infected. It actually heals your, your, your blemishes and your pimples. So this is good. So I use that. And you can find this. Um, I found this at Target. And before, you could only find this at Whole Foods and Sprouts and uh, any health food store drugstore but you can actually find these at Target now and um, to give me like a bronzy look I use their mineral fusion mineral on a mission their luster bronzer and this is what I've been using and I love it because it has two tones it has the darker tone where you could use as a contour and then you has a lighter which is actually sparkly and then the dark one is dark so I use this and I just mush it together. I don't really contour my skin. I don't have time for that. And I just put it on my cheekbones and on my nose, wherever the sun would naturally hit my face and my chin and my forehead. And so this is what I use. And again, you can find this at Target or any drug health store. This is it. And I've been using, as you can see, these fun brushes and these brushes are from Mark from Avon and they're really soft they're not synthetic and um, it goes on your skin without you know it feeling scratchy or on the cheekbones and so this is really fun so I've been using this and um, I don't have a an applier but I can sometimes just use my finger this is the color of this one you can see so pretty and I just use my finger and apply it with my finger I could do this one on the camera. So this is another one of my favorite. Another one of my favorites, I love mascaras because my eyelashes are so thin. And so I'm always in search of a good mascara. That Avon came out with this really cool mascara called Super Extend Winged Out. And I love this mascara because it doesn't give me the length that I'm looking for. But the brush is so small. So you can see that that it actually is able to get all my little eyelashes that a, usually a bigger brush wouldn't be able to get. And so it makes, it gives it the illusion, illusion that I have more eyelashes. So I love this. At first I use my regular mascara and then I put this like on the all the little um, lashes that the big one wasn't able to get and it makes my eyelashes look so much bigger. And so this is called a um, Super Extend Winged Out Mascara and it's by Avon. Hopefully you can see it. And this is awesome. So I've been using this as well. It's another one of my favorites for this week. Um, let's see. Oh, my hair. It's growing, guys. Look. This is four months of not cutting my hair. From very, very pixie hair. I mean, you, you've seen my hair. If you follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook, you've seen how short my hair could get. I actually will put a picture so you can see. For those of you that don't, don't know, my hair was super boy pixie short and so now I'm growing it out and so now before I didn't have to worry about any hair products worry about any hair products because it was just so short I didn't need to fuss on it now I'm nurturing my hair and so I've been using um, Avon's advanced techniques Moroccan argan oil Oh, and I love this. And I use this also. It's, oh, sorry about my hair. <laughs> it's funky. I use this also on my daughter's hair. And it just, I don't put it on the shaft of my of my scalp because I want nothing to be on my pores. I want my hair to grow. So I put this just at the ends. And it gives it just a really, I don't use conditioner. So when I use this, it gives it just a really nice shine and just very natural um, conditioning. And so this is like, I'm almost done with it. Well, my, my daughter's been using most of it. But now that I'm using it, it's going to go down even more. So this is another one of my favorites. And it's called Advanced um, Techniques. And it's a Moroccan Argan Oil. And it's really, really good. Especially for you girls that have long hair. Just put this on the tips. And then it gives you just a nice shine. Love this stuff. And um, 
what else? The last thing that's my favorite is I want to share with you is this book that I picked up. I love it because each day it gives you, uh, it's a devotional, a devotional to um, having a high self-esteem. And as women, sometimes our self-esteem is kind of low because we're doing everything for everyone. And at the end of the day, you kind of feel like, well, what did I do for myself? And you start thinking, you know, I do this for my daughters, my son, for my mother, for my father, for my husband. So you're, we're pressed and we're stretched in all so many directions. And we hardly have time for ourselves. And that affects our self-esteem because then we start doubting ourselves. And so I picked up this book because I just love the devotionals. Each devotional, it says, Believing in Myself. And it's written by Arnie Larson. And Arnie Larson it was a man that would help people in recovery and he was such a selfless man and you see a lot of people in recovery that have recovered from alcoholism from drug use and they have nothing but wonderful things to say about this man because literally he was selfless and he would give of his time to all these people that most of us wouldn't even give a time and day to and so he composed a book with um, devotionals of all kinds of people from all kinds of different walks and when you read one it makes you just feel so grateful for who you are and it gives you tips to want to improve yourself and believing in yourself no matter what no matter if you're a stay-at-home mom no matter if you are a single woman out there no matter if you know you're a teenager that is confused it has so much for everyone and it helps build you up and people we need to build each other up instead of gossiping um, putting people down, being jealous, envious. We need to just help and build one another up. So in order for you to help and build somebody up, you need someone to build you up. And if there's no one, if you're like, oh, Gabby, my family's so negative. There's, you know, my friend, you don't understand where I live. Everyone's so negative. Well, you know what? Then you need this little book, okay? Because this little book will pick you up and this little book will help you pick somebody else up and it's gonna be a chain reaction. So this is one of my favorites for this week. Now, I hope you enjoyed these little treats, not these little treats, but these products that I brought to you that I discovered and hopefully you could try them out. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy. God bless you, I love you, and I'll see you for Motivational Monday. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars.